doing like I wish that Slammiversary's main event was I think the main event's Speedball versus Mustafa Ali. That's the main event. That's that's your show closer. In my opinion, that's how you do it. The six way, I, I would open up the show with a six way, but if I were booking, I would not have booked the six way because I think they're stupid. Unless they're unless they put it in like lethal lockdown and they do something like that, I think that would be cool. But it's just like another fucking six way. Who cares? It's lame. Let's, like I'm sure the match is gonna be fine. Um, but I just think the 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 storytelling is lame. I would have I would have went with Josh Alexander and Moose as your world title match. And then and then you could have done some type of elimination gimmick at Slammiversary that um, Joe Hendry could have won and the winner gets a shot at Bound for Glory. I like connecting the pay-per-views. You know how like at Bound for Glory, if you get to call your shot gauntlet, you know, I instead of call your shot, I don't like the money in the bank gimmick anymore. I'm done with it. The call your shot gauntlet, just call it whatever, it's something else. The winner gets a title shot at Hard to Kill. I would like them to do something like that at Slammiversary going forward. Um and I think where's Lucha at in the chat? Okay, yeah, I figured he was gonna say this. I hadn't. I didn't even read it. I knew he was gonna say it. I wish I do, did King of the Mountain. Yeah. So I would like for them. Uh, I, I what I would have done was Moose versus Josh for the world title, and then a King of the Mountain match, and the winner gets the title shot at Bound for Glory. That's that's what Mike would have done, but Mike's not booking. So um, what they're gonna do? is the six way and they're going to try to figure a way to fuck Joe Hendry out of winning the title and Moose is going to keep the belt and uh, they're going to build heat on Moose and Kazarian at some point. Um, they're going to do the Kazarian match. Hendry's finally going to overcome Kazarian and then they're going to figure out a way to get him a title shot for bound for glory. Um, so that I, that's what they're doing. Uh, Lucha says L lethal lockdown is team based Mike. Yeah. And then, uh, I'd love Joe Henry to win the Bound for Glory series. I, I I would love for them to do the Bound for Glory series to bring that back. Um, I don't have confidence that the current booking team would be able to do that successfully. They would have to bring in somebody. And the guy that I would bring in is John Muse, who actually happens to be an expert on how to do G1 style tournaments. Um, and he, because he actually like, I wish we, so this inside baseball and brace for impact a couple years ago when JD was still on the show. Me, JD, and John were preparing a fantasy booking show where John had written a tournament. He was doing a Bound for Glory series, but except for because of the timing, this was going to be post Bound for Glory. Um, we were going to do a tournament called the Kurt Angle Cup. And in and that tournament was a G1 style, but we put TNA flavor in it where we had gimmick matches and stuff like that. And, um, and, all, all kinds of stuff. There was even like an, an equalizer match where um, if you, if you had like a shitty record, you get to be put in like this, like this multi-person type of like three stages of hell type of equalizer. And like, you can actually, you know, get put back up, like get so many points to be put back up into the tournament after, you know, losing streak, all kinds of stuff. Like it was really cool. Like, we called it the Kurt Angle cup. And, um, and I, it was one of the coolest things that I had seen. And, um, I don't have any confidence that the current people can do something like that, make it make sense, make it logical and make it entertaining at the same time. I don't know that they have it in them, um, to do that. I, I just don't have the confidence because they're still, look, they, this is still the current team that has people bumping into each other backstage to create matches. That's the, these, that's who these people are. Jordan Grace still doing open challenges. Like she just did another one, you know, it's like we're rehashing the same old stuff. So, um, but I, I, I would, I would, I would love, I would love for them to do a bound for glory series, but they would have to hire John Muse just to book the tournament. Just say, Hey, look, here, here's who we want to win. Here's who the people that are in it. Okay. Now you book it and you get us to where Joe Hendry is the star coming out of it. And he could do that. Nonza says, I really want a BFG series. Why is it so difficult for this company to do tournaments? I just don't think they know how to do it. I just don't think they have it in them to do it. So, um, and then uh, uh, Lucius, I have confidence that Barbosa will uh, at least make hype videos. Yeah, he's very good at those hype videos. He's fantastic. I thought the ones that aired on Impact tonight were very good. 